Jamie, the first question has obviously got to be, the ball drops to you inside the penalty area. What is going through your mind just before you score that? Just get rid of it. <laughs> I'm shattered. Just put it anywhere, put it back in the box. Um, no, just look, it's at a perfect height um, to hit. It's one of them things you you don't usually score. Well, I don't anyway, I've not, not scored a goal like that ever. Um, but yeah, just hit it, have a go, why not? Um, we were playing well at the time, I think we, we looked confident, we were on the front foot, um, have shots, create chances and sometimes they go in, sometimes they don't. Luckily today it did for, for me and, and for the team. That good start that, that Andy's talked about being really vital in a game like that and you'll know what the, what the start was like down there. You were in a really similar position before the game changed. How important was it to not let it change after that start? I think it's tough because it, it's obviously so important but the intensity that we play with at certain stages of games you can't continue it um, you, you can't play like that for 90 minutes so it's it's about when you're not playing at that, that intensity and you do maybe drop off a little bit say at the end of the first half or periods in the second half you you're still solid um, you still don't give them anything and you you still create chances yourself and I think we did that today really really well um, as you said down at their place we did the same we we scored a couple of goals got in a great position um, and then just maybe took our foot off the gas and you think in there today again half time deja vu like did they get a set piece and score a goal um, but I thought we were unbelievable to be honest um, the back three five keeper headed everything set pieces cleared our box like, I just thought we looked solid all over and I, I, I thought going forward we, we created a number of chances and, and looked really really good Did it help that the run that you've been on as well and the momentum that you've got helped when it came to seeing out the game particularly in the second half I think so yeah because I think situations like that say say we were on a, in a bit of a sticky patch today and you go 2-0 up you, you maybe get a little bit more nervous get get the jitters a little bit and think you know what like we, we really, really need this win, as as we do in the position we're in anyway. Um, but I think when you're in, in a bit of a sticky patch, it's a it's a different kind of nervousness. Um, whereas I feel like today we we're confident in ourselves, and I think the the run gives you that confidence. Um, but we're a confident bunch anyway, and we we know on our day when we play with the intensity and and, and the quality as well. Um, we we've got everything in the team to to go on and beat anyone. You got a bit of a battering today as well, and I, I know that it looks to the crowd at least like sometimes you might lose your temper. But from your point of view, how hard is that when you're on the pitch when you are getting knocked around a little bit to try and keep you cool? Do you know what? It's all I'll never really lose my cool. Like and and I know it looks like that from from the outside, but that's just the way I play. Um, and you hear teams sometimes thinking, oh, he's, he's on the edge trying to get him sent off or whatever, but I'm never that close to, to, to losing it, to be honest. It's just playing with that little bit of an edge to, to get the best out of me and sort of round myself up in a way um, and also impose myself on, on other teams. So sometimes it does look like that. Um, and I think there was instances today where I was frustrated and, yeah, sort of do lose it a little bit. I'm all, but I'm always in, in control of... My, my actions, my emotions so um, like I said that's that's just me and that's just the way I play really. Do you think how you're playing both as an individual and as part of the team now is getting the best out of some other players like Ben Garrity and James Wilson? I think so yeah but you don't want to take credit for other people um, I think individually we're all performing well but also collectively all helping each other and it's it's not just it's not just us three it's it's the the whole shape of the team the it, it really does start from the back and, and work its way forward and we're only as good as what's behind us and the, the other lads are only as good as what's in front of them so um i think individually you can you can look at your own performance but then also um you you always like to benefit benefit others and um as a as a striker especially you like to Take the take the strain off your strike partner sometimes, and he'll do things for me. Especially Will, so he'll do he'll do more running than me, and I'll say hello, help me out here and there, and I'll win the headers for him and, and stuff like that. But that's that's sign of a good team when when you're all working together. Um, and we've no one in that dressing room who will go out to, to play for themselves. Literally nobody in the whole squad of twenty odd whatever we have. It's such a great group, and I think that's that that stands you in good stead come the end of the season. How well is that partnership with you and James working? Not not just on the pitch, but you know people talk about strikers having a good relationship off the pitch as well. What's it like with a pair of you? Brilliant. I think we just I think we respect what each other can and can't do. To be honest. Um, and I think that's what you need. I, I'm not expected to, to go and beat three men and, and put it in the top corner. He's not expected to batter centre-halves and, and win headers, and it'd be stupid to think that players are going to do things that 
not that they don't want to do course you, everybody wants to be able to be capable of doing all of it but you've got to play to everyone's strengths and I think it's just off the pitch especially knowing what everybody else brings um, you don't really talk about it too much it's not it's not something that spoke about or oh, you do this I do this it, it's not really like that it's just um, a little bit of of common sense really and understanding of, of each other and your, your roles on and off the pitch I don't suppose you can afford to take your foot off the gas because even if though you've gone up to fourth now then the league's so congested yeah. if you do ease up at all somebody is going to take your place pretty quickly Oh, it, honestly and I know it's cliche and we've been saying it all season but it, it means nothing to us in terms of it's great to win you're better off winning than losing but the, the table at the minute is just it's it's all over the place like you said I think teams are going from second to ninth and, and stuff like that you, you need to just keep winning games simple as that and we'll move on to the next one and, and hopefully win that and, and then see where we're at but Everybody up there, he's playing well, everybody's winning games and um, we've just got to keep doing the same to be honest. We can't think, oh, win this game and we'll be second or fourth or seventh or it just doesn't work like that. It's it's such a tight, congested top ten. Um, you've just got to look at yourself and, and move on to the next game and, and keep your keep your levels high. And just lastly, how many times are you going to go and watch that, that goal back again? Do you know what? I'm not, <laughs> and I'm not lying, I'm not usually one for going back and watching highlights, stuff like that, but... I probably will get sent it <laughs> off friends, family, all of, because they'll be they, they'll be buzzing. Um, my dad texted me before the game saying like get a birthday. It was my birthday yesterday, so he said get a birthday goal today and all that. Um, but it's it, it's one of them. You you're obviously going to get the credit for it, but I'm I'm honest when I when I say look, I'd I'd rather not score and we come we come and win one nil today. Um, that means so much more to me. Happy birthday then! Thanks. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks. <laughs>